Det finns många exempel där religiösa budskap blivit film. Men att en vanlig tv-serie skulle bli upphovet till en ny religion var föga väntat. Men så är faktiskt fallet med den gamla amerikanska 70-talsserien The Partridge Family. Som idag dyrkas av The Partridge Family Temple. Okej, okay, well först, Keith Partridge har existed before the beginning of time. He created time. But then in 1970, he realized that you know, the world was lost and needed hope. And so Keith Partridge took over David Cassidy's body and he starred in a TV show as Keith Partridge to spread the word. Then in 1974, there were so many non-believers that the show was canceled. We say it was canceled for people's sins. Then the Partridge Family Temple was formed. Året var 1988 när Keith och hans kompisar fick en religiös uppenbarelse och insåg att deras idoler i själva verket var gudar. I've, I, was, I was a high priest and I was one of the founders and now over. I've realized that I actually am a god. I am Keith Partridge. Y you, you're a god? Yeah, because Keith Partridge is a god and I He's the am now Keith Partridge. He's the fourth reincarnation of Keith Partridge. So now, how did you realize that? I just, I don't know. It's just, I just realized. It's just like, how do you realize that uh, the phone rings or something? You just realize it. Oh, okay. Are you serious? Yes. Because people think it's weird. Like, you know, why do you worship Keith Partridge? You know, these people worship Jesus Christ, and they don't even have any proof that he existed. There's obvious proof that Keith Partridge existed. He's on album covers, he's on TV. And so it makes more sense than any other religion, basically. Partridge Family Temple menar att de flesta egentligen är Partridge-anhängare utan att veta om det. And what are you doing now, all the, the plastic bags here? What's going on now? We're gonna do a ritual here. A ritual, okay. And we're okay. gonna try to protect the, uh, the psychedelic uh, IKEA Rug. Ikea, that's Swedish, you know. Oh, right, Ikea, yeah, that guy is like the, uh, that guy's a partridge. What's the name of the owner? Oh, he doesn't Ingmar realize Kampron. it. He doesn't realize it, but he is a partridge, and, and you know, the gods have told him, hey, make this psychedelic uh, rugs, and he made these. These are from Ikea, and so... Uh, so what, what, what partridge do you think Ingvar Kamprad is? Well, it's not like anyone's a partridge. The six gods. It's not yeah. like I'm either Laurie or I'm Keith or uh, you're just yourself, partridge. Okay. Uh. So he's Ingvar Partridge. Yeah. We believe in spirituality. Like everybody needs to have some kind of spirituality. But some people want a better Satanism, spirituality. Catholicism, whatever. Och tror eller ej, men när jag befinner mig här inträffar faktiskt ett mirakel. That's Danny Partridge. His new show. Danny Partridge. What? He has a new show where he's like a reality show and he's like, he's having like problems and stuff. Mannen som spelade Danny Partridge dyker plötsligt upp i en reality såpa. Ett solklart tecken från ovan. He is now the reigning supreme god of reality television as the common world understands it. Is that his kids? Yeah. That's the synchronicity I was talking about. You can't get that from Jesus. This is the religion that works for people who have been searching high and low and they can't figure out something because they have too many restrictions, but they're going to be psychedelic 24 hours a day. Keith och hans anhängare är övertygade om att deras storhetstid är nära. Själv undrar jag om man överhuvudtaget ska våga tro på någonting. Det är väl många människor som vill det. Nej, men det är bra att du tar upp det för att det är väldigt viktigt att självklart ska vi våga pröva och våga, våga tro. Men att man, om du känner igen varningstecknen så kan du i rätt läge välja att ta det här hälsosamma steget tillbaka. Är det fantastiskt så finns det ju kvar. When the world sees this broadcast, they will know. They will know that they're partridges and they will contact the new people. Capella Vision.